Bigger than a sequel. That's the advertising used for the latest expansion. With dozens of new items, bosses, and enemies being added, it's hard to disagree. Binding of Isaac Repentance just launched, and it's reminding all of us why we loved the game in the first place. I can't remember the last time I actually had a deep sense of discovery in a roguelike. Things like Dead Cells and Risk of Rain 2 are great, but Isaac's sheer volume of items that it's had the advantage of adding over the years is just so vast that I can consistently jump in and see stuff that I've never actually seen before. The fact that Edmund McMillan has worked closely with the fans that developed the Anti-Birth mod is also touching, especially after all of the awful ways we've seen fans treated by bigger companies over the years. Anti-Birth is big enough as it is. Repentance doesn't care though, and puts even more on top of it. While it's hard to piece together my exact thoughts so close to launch with the expansion being as big as it is, I can definitely confirm that my time with the game so far has felt like I've discovered it for the first time again more than a decade ago, besides a couple of things. Before we continue, do remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see today. It really helps a lot. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Isaac has issues. Yeah, there's bugs. Yeah, there's going to be items objectively superior to others when you have the decision to pick one or the other. But the element of randomness that the roguelike genre brings definitely does a lot to help alleviate the issue of balance, since the player isn't going to have perfect control over what they're able to run into. Monstro Shot might not be your first choice when it comes to DPS, but if it's the only thing available, it's going to be a different situation. Getting stronger isn't as straightforward in Isaac as it is in other games, with power-ups and trinkets forcing you to sometimes change your strategies, like using a knife as a melee weapon or an angelic sword to protect a familiar instead of the usual projectiles you fire out. Changing your strategies proves to be very challenging during the final fight of most floors. The pool of bosses is already giant in and of itself, not even counting champion variants, as are the items, trinkets, and tarot cards. These aren't usually bosses you can conquer just from knowing their patterns. It never reaches shmup levels or anything, but you will have to pay close attention to all of the projectiles on screen in more hectic fights. Seeing something brand new to fight or get amidst to see of familiar things was a real joy after the hundreds of hours lots of us have put into this game. Though. I almost wish there was a way to filter the old content out and play with the new additions Repentance has included exclusively. Especially with how long this game has been out, it would have been nice to just see new stuff right away, though I can understand the choice to pace it through the old content as was probably intended. Reflexes will get you far for sure, but a skill that's just as valuable as risk management, knowing when it's worth the dangerous trek across a dungeon floor to get to a treasure room when you already have the means to go to the next area is a tough call to make in the best possible way. An interesting wrinkle to risk management is the addition of another player. As you can tell already from the footage you've been seeing, true co-op has finally made its way to Isaac, meaning the second player is not required to play as the floating baby thing anymore. I didn't really mind it the way it was, but after trying it now it's hard to go back. Deciding which of you needs more damage or attack speed is a fun tactical choice when you happen across an item. While you'll both get an item after clearing a boss, the same can't be said for pretty much anywhere else in the game, including treasure rooms. Overall, if you've absolutely exhausted the prior content in Isaac to completion, there is no better time to immerse yourself in it all again. There's a giant amount of stuff here that I haven't even shown, partially because I haven't seen 100% of it myself, and partially because it's worth experiencing all your own. Here's a review I did for Loop Hero, another indie game. It's a cliche thing to say, but a like and subscription really do wonders to help the channel. So if you're able to do those things, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye.